Hello everyone, my name is Jophel. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am so glad you are here. So for today's video, I am going to talk about glow books and answer some of your questions. Um, so let's start with this one. This one is the one that I'm always using um, when I do a process video. I cover this with this magazine because look, it's coming out from the book. This book is heavy and thick. And this is the one that you always guys uh, question what kind of book is this? So this, there it is. This is like uh, maybe more than 300 pages. I'm not sure. So it's so thick. And the problem of this one is the binding, the thing here is coming apart. It's no good, see? It's broke and I don't know I just I like this book it's because it's uh what is this stitch here but look it's coming apart it's no good because the pages is too many and I'm gonna stop here I'm not going to finish the whole pages, the whole book. See, I still have a lot of pages. I'm going to stop here. And this is the last page that I did. There's a process video of this. I did this on um, Halloween. On Halloween. So, and look how thick this this is. I I need to finish this. I think I have like... 10 more pages to go then I can finish this book and I can have a flip through of this I'm excited and I started this uh, April 4th of this year oh, so thick and heavy uh, what I've learned here is that I'm not gonna use a book like this again because it's not good. Look at how much pages I have left. See. Okay, and then the other thing is this one. This is a uh, Composition not composition notebook, college road. I got this from Walmart, and this is my glow book, my rainbow glow book. This one is inspired by Nicole, Relax Cut Glue. Uh, this is all the rainbow colors, but in her ages, her she uses uh, washi tape, but I did not. I use. Um, magazines in this edges of the these colors I use magazines only these two page the black and white I use scrapbook papers this and this and I love this I um I did um I glue two pages together to make it sturdy see I love it it's not too thick, it's not too thin. It's perfect. And another one, this is a composition notebook also. This is my daughter's old, old composition notebook. I have a flip through of this glow book here in my channel. Um, what I did here, I take out the pages that she write on. So that's why it's not very thick. This book is not, but it's kind of 
coming apart also here so I, I did a glue book uh, I mean a washi tape here and I started this October of last year and then it ended uh, December last year also so it's not as thick but it's like because it's old and I take out some pages that's why it's like the page is like I don't know coming off the the cover of this notebook and then I um, added the lace here just to uh, make make the bound um, take uh, stronger I think because it's kind of coming apart and I think um, I experience is I like the composition notebooks it's cheaper and it's it's not too many pages you know than the one that I'm using currently um this this composition notebook is bigger than this one uh, see I don't know if you can see a little bit bigger okay and the next one is i have also um flip through of this in here in my channel this is a ring bound one i like this it's not too big it's not too thick it's just perfect i think i like ring bound because it's not coming apart and it's i don't know and it lays flat wherever you go is lays, lays flat see even you're at the end you can still lay it flat i love this i have a flip through of this i just cover this with uh scrapbook paper this is the the back i did not cover it just the front um, I think I'm gonna use next time I don't know if I can find I, I got this from a trip store if I can find more of the ring bound I will get it because I like the ring bound one for my for me I don't know if you guys like it but I like it because it's flat see I love it and it's not coming apart because it's ring bound I like it the other thing is uh, I have I have one this one this is my uh, glow book for like uh, challenges or swap see I have some process video in some of these pages here in my YouTube see it's like uh, it's no good now look at it's like the pages is coming off the cover of this book it's not good it's not even I don't even have plenty of pages done in here and it's like I don't know I don't like it I even um glow like here and then I go to the other farther from this one because if you do that they said that it's not gonna come off the page I come off the book I don't know it's like the same so I think the ring bound is better for my experience from my experience so I don't know I like uh, notebooks that is uh, sewed into the book so this is the this is a smaller one so I don't know I didn't do any challenge glue book challenges yet so I have few here but I don't like I don't like it now because the PG is coming off the book over I don't know. And then 
I have these two. These are um, catalogs from my hobbies, uh, my husband uh, university. This one I cover it with the uh, scrapbook papers. Let's see. see, this is, I like the papers. It's kind of thick. I just uh, um, cut it for, for the size that I want. Because this is big, this is like the size of a magazine. So in this one, I also covered it with uh, scrapbook papers, <clears throat> and I started glowing with these all all flowers, <gasps> color coded with flowers. See, I love it. It's thick. It's flat. Oh, I did not finish this book yet. See, I like it. Look at how flat it is. Oh, this one because I did not start yet, but you know, I like just like this, not too thick. Okay, and now we're gonna talk about uh, passy cutting. Some of you uh, comment here, commented here that how, how I'm passy cutting some of my images. So, what you need to do is you need to have tools that good for passy cutting. Uh, these are my favorite for passy cutting. Sorry for that. <laughs> so I have <clears throat> these scissors and a knife. This is a crafting knife. I got this from uh, Shein. It's an online shopping uh, store. I like this because it's thin and it's not very thick. I use this for uh, intricate uh, images. I have this one also, but this one, this is the exacto knife, they called it, I think. And this is uh, like kind of heavy duty one. But I like this better for magazines because magazine is thin. So this is perfect. And this is, uh, small scissor for good for passy cutting this is the paper studio one this is uh i got this from uh, hobby lobby i i had this for a long long time this is my favorite but i dropped it and uh the end here is kind of i don't know broke or twisted now it's no good but this is my favorite one it's so light it's really nice in the hand i love it the second one is this the tim holtz one i love this one too look it's nice in the hand also it's so light it's really so nice when you're uh, fussy cutting. It's like, like this. Oh, it's, it feels good in your hand. The next one is this little one. This is very little. I think everybody got this. This is from the Dollar Tree. But I don't like it as much as these two. You know? I don't know why. It's like... It's not as good as these two. It's because maybe these are expensive than this one. <laughs> Alright, so for passy cutting, you need to have good scissors. And then I have this. This is a little... Uh, cutting mat 
I also got this from the Dollar Tree. This is a small one because I have a big one underneath this paper that I have here. So I cannot cut it here. I have a really old one. So that's why I got this one. It's so handy for when I'm cutting um, intricate uh, images. See? It's perfect for this. Like, this is good. This knife is good when you're cutting here in the middle of images. Like this. Because you cannot use the scissors in this in the middle of images because it's so narrow so you cannot use the scissor so you need to have this knife so when you have this it's really perfect for a narrow thing in the middle of the images see how easy that is hold on I'm doing laundry right now. It's just next door, my laundry room. So maybe you can hear the laundry, the machine. So there we go. So you need to have this. And either one of these scissors. I don't really recommend this one in the, from the Dollar Tree. I don't know. Either these two. This two is my favorite. All right, and when you are posse cutting, when you are posse cutting images like this, don't move your scissors, just move the image so that it's easy for you. Move the image, not your scissor. You know what I mean? See? When I'm passy cutting, I I passy cut all the way to the end of the image because I don't like a border in my images. Sometimes I do, but once in a blue moon, see? I like it all the way. I don't like any borders. Some of the images I like when it's the borders is white. It depends the image. I don't know. But I like it like this. No. Border. See? Perfect. Just when you're fussy cutting, don't move your scissor, just your image. You know? So that it's easy for you. And recommended these scissors for passy cutting not the big one because the big one is not i don't know i don't like it especially when it's you know small images big one is not good so for good passy cutting this too is my recommendation the team holds in the paper studio one all right uh what else what is i want to talk about oh uh, some of you a uh, question about how i start to collage okay when i collage i start i choose my color palette or color inspiration or a theme that i want to collage for example, let's, uh, let's um, start here. Okay. For example, I'm going to choose this color inspiration. So, this one have like light, what is this, teal or blue, pink, red or gold. So, what I do is I choose images that have those colors like this chicken have red and this little puppy have also red 
and this one have red if I want to ah, shoot sorry this one have blue in the cereal box this cereal box <laughs> cereal plate there's blue in it this red because the strawberries have red so that's how I do I start my when I uh, start my collage click the images you want in your collage that goes with your theme or color inspiration and then lay them out you know like this whatever you you know make a layout see if you like it or not you know whatever how you uh, collage it how you want them you know whatever you want it and then see if you need to add more or not or you know or what more it looks good on it this is also a chicken so you know and then when you like the layout then it's time for you to make your collage no I forgot something you need to choose your background so the background is not very important if it's, if, you know the same color as your images because you need to choose a layout that your images will will stand out like this I think this background is perfect because your images is popping out from the background sometimes the background is you can co because sometimes when I collage I cover the whole background sometimes you can see it sometimes it's just peeking out from the images you know so it's not you can choose whatever uh, background you like sometimes the background have uh, words so you can cover it with your images so that if you don't like the word showing sometimes I don't really care about the words it only showing a little bit it's okay then if everything is good you like it then you can start glowing and then after that you can choose your words whatever words you like like this one dream up Whatever words, the greatest life, greatest lesson, whatever, whatever words you like. See? And it's done. You think it's easy? <gasps> All right. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, did I cover all some of your questions? Some or all? I don't know. Okay, let me know in the comment below what some questions you would like to know. And thank you so much for sticking with me till the end. Um, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.